Hi there. Uh, my name is uh, David Astor. I'm a solution architect uh, with GitLab, and I just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview on how to apply a new license into your GitLab instance. Uh, what you'll do is you'll log into your GitLab instance, like you see here. Um, if you have, you, you should have admin privileges, or you don't need admin privileges. And when you have admin privileges, you'll see your little wrench icon up here. You'll click on the admin area, and in the left-hand side uh, navigation bar, you'll see a link for license. Clicking on license takes you to this page here where you can upload a new license, which should have been sent to you uh, in email. Uh, you'll then upload the new license and take you through the process of just you using the upload license or GitLab license file. Uh, just choose it here and then upload that particular license. Okay. Again, going back to that. So you'll go through that process. Uh, going back to this page, should you, um, um, if you're overriding an existing license, what you'll see is down at the bottom, you'll see a license history. So you'll see your original, let's say, premium license here. Um, when you upload your new license, it'll be for the ultimate edition. And so you'll see a new uh, license history showing the ultimate edition. If you ever wanted to remove that license, you could come here to the remove license button. And you'll see here, if you remove the license, GitLab will fall back on the previous license, if any. Okay, so when you remove the ultimate license, it'll just fall back to the premium license, which should already be there at this moment. Hopefully that helps. Again, it's just a matter of going to the license page and opening up the upload license, uh, upload new license dialog and importing that new file, which you should have. If you're running into any, into any questions, please contact uh, your um, uh, uh, strategic account leader, which is Paul, and uh, we'll make sure you get the answers you need. Thanks so much.